there are dangerous hate groups in America who will warn us about them. The media have an answer. The Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center, based in that building in Alabama, calls itself the premier group monitoring hate groups. Looking at their map of such groups, you'd think America was consumed by hate. I once believed in the center's mission. Well-meaning people still do. Apple just gave them a million dollars. But what donors don't know is that today the center smears people who don't deserve to be smeared. The presence of radical Islam. This woman grew up in Somalia, suffered female genital mutilation. So now she speaks out against radical Islam. For that, the center put her on its list. Multiculturalism failed these communities. This man was once an Islamic extremist, but then he decided radical Islam was wrong, and now he criticizes the radicals. The center labels him an anti-Muslim extremist, too. Join the fight against hate and bigotry. Visit SPLCenter.org. I do think that we have a problem with hate in this country. We put about 10 of these major hate groups out of business. The center's leaders, Richard Cohen and Morris Dees, would not talk to me. So commentator Nomiki Kant stepped up to defend them. They have a history, a long history, of fighting against extremists like the KKK. History, yes but they labeled skeptical Muslims like Ayan Hirsi Ali as haters. If you have a horrible experience with religion, that's one thing. It's another thing to use those experiences as ammunition against others who are practicing their religion peacefully. But they're just speaking, criticizing it. Of course she has the right to free speech, as does the Southern Poverty Law Center has a right to push back. We can stand together against hate. The center also calls the Family Research Council a hate group. The definition of a marriage is what it's been for 5,000 years. It's the union of a man and a woman. I often disagree with the council myself, but do they belong on this hate map? When they don't agree with you politically, they're going to list you as a hater. You are haters. You hate gays. No, I don't hate gay people, and, and, uh, and I know gay people, and I have worked with gay people. But once you're labeled a hate group, you become a target. Developing now word of a shooting at the Family Research Council there in Washington. One man was so enraged by what the center said about the Family Research Council, he went to their headquarters to kill people. A man shot a security guard in the arm. Fortunately, that guard stopped the man before he could shoot anyone else. He told the judge that he was there to kill as many of us as possible because we were a hate group. The council's offices were attacked by a guy with a gun. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't deserve this. There's always extremists out there, and it's unfortunately the world that we live in, and, and you know, hopefully people can kind of separate that. The center also smears the Ruth Institute, a Christian group that believes gays should not have an equal right to adopt children. They're not haters. I like gay people. I have no problem with gay people. That's not the issue. The issue is what are we doing with kids and the definition of who counts as a parent. What if a gay couple had a civil union and adopted kids? There could be cases where the best person for a particular child would be their Uncle Harry and his boyfriend. You know, that could be. But we owe it to the children to give them the best we can, which generally is a married mother and father. So you're a hater. <laughs> when the center put her on its hate map, the Ruth Institute's bank sent her this letter. We've determined that you're an organization that promotes hate, violence, harassment, and so therefore we're not doing business with you. And we went and checked our website and we were already down. The Ruth Institute and the Family Research Council are still on the hate list. There's no appeal. I sure don't know how you get off. I suspect the center keeps its hate list long because crying hate brings in lots of money. Morris Dees' salary is more than my entire annual budget. So yeah, Whatever they're doing, it pays. Years ago, Harper's Magazine reported that the center is the wealthiest civil rights group in America, one that spent most of its time and money on a fundraising campaign. Now, Morris Dees did once promise to stop fundraising once his endowment hit $55 million. But when he reached $55 million, he changed that to $100 million, saying that would allow them to cease costly fundraising. But when they reached 100 million, they didn't stop. Today, they have an endowment that uh, now is over $320 million, much of which is in offshore accounts, Caymans and places like that. In How do you know? Oh, we look at their 990s. And it says Cayman Islands? Yeah. They pay some of their people more than 400,000 a year. Well, 
it, you know, it's 2017. <laughs> it costs a lot of money to exist in this world. Give me a break. The Southern Poverty Law Center now lists people like Ben Carson, Laura Ingram, and Jeannie Pirro as extremists. But it doesn't list Antifa, the hate group that beats up people on the right. The center's become a hate group itself. It's now a left-wing, money-grabbing slander machine.